First and foremost, tell us what this thing is all about. Um, my name is Achim Fembe Mokandawire from Kasisi Girls Secondary School. I'm in grade 11. And this is a solar rechargeable car. A car that runs on solar energy and electric energy. So the main reason I came up with this project is because of all the negative effects that the implementation of fuel in many countries and the world at large has caused, both on the economic sector and the environmental sector. So in the economic sector, we see that um, many countries are too dependent on non-renewable sources of energy, such as electric, uh, pardon me, such as petroleum and diesel. As a result, the standards of living are raised high. How, how are the standards of living really affected by the transportation sector? I give you a scenario. So you're a trader and you want me to fire your goods from point A to point B. So um, fuel prices are expensive. I'll obviously be charged a lot for me to transfer your goods from point A to point B. As a, re as a result, I'll charge you a lot as well. And you also want to make a profit from me charging you a lot. And you also charge your customers for their commodities at a higher price. As a result, it's hard for people who have low paying jobs to acquire certain goods and services because of the transportation sector. And the, 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 on the environmental sector, we see that every Every time you start your car, you're emitting greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are already there in the atmosphere, such as carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, um, nitrogen oxide. But too much of them, or too yes, too much of them, lead to global warming, and that's why we have instances where it's too hot, it's too cold. There's little or no rainfall in a particular area. As a result, we're affecting the farmers as, and uh, leading to us not having even enough food as a country. I like demonstration so that people can get convinced that what you are bringing to the table is actually the real deal, isn't it? Yes. Um, let's get down to the components that this car has and will probably have once actualized. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a solar panel. These cells here, you can see, are polyvotalic cells. They're the ones that are absorbing the light energy, taking them to rechargeable batteries and then the induction motor. Great. So in short, you are saying we can buy the normal panel yes. that's already been made. Yes. Nice. Um, then we also have a charging system um, built in the car, this side. So you charge your car, the energy flows through the charging system, goes to the rechargeable batteries and then an induction motor. You may be wondering, what is an induction motor? It's a simple mechanical device that turns electric energy to mechanical energy. The same way as a, um, pardon me, a combustion engine works. The same thing, such that the, it intakes electric energy rather than fuel. The engine is now the induction motor, which does not use any fuel. It uses electric energy. That electric energy will come from the solar and the direct electric charge.